Hello, hello. Welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. I pray you're doing well wherever you are. Sending you the purest of love and light. Remember, God is for us. Who can be against us? And we're safe, we're anchored, and we're protected. So welcome back if it's your first time. Returning soul drivers, new soul drivers, thank you for your continuous love and your support. Couldn't do it without you. Love hearing from you. Thank you. May God continue to richly bless and keep you and yours wherever you are. Sending you the purest of love and light to you in your corner of the world. I'm so glad we're on this journey together. So let's get right into it. So yes, a lot of people are getting a dose of their own medicine right now. Yeah, they're realizing that it doesn't taste so good. Hmm. For a lot of people, when it comes to dishing out hurt and pain, it's easier, it's better to give than to receive, right? That's the that's probably the only time they think about it, think it's better to give than to receive. But a lot of them now, they are in the receiving position where they're forced to sit, whether it's with themselves, they have to face themselves or other people. They will have to answer. They're, they're called upon now to answer to why they do why they did the things that they did why they said the things that they said about you about us for some of them god is sitting these people down to reflect to look at themselves to see the mess that they created and what for what for like is it really worth it to go to that extreme, to that extent. So it's like, okay, sit down now. Because now, if they lied on you, a lot of people are looking at them, shunning them. So it's like the same things that they said or they try to discredit you or us, people are doing it to them. And they're realizing it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. Are these people going to change? It's up to them, right? Not us, but they are forced. They will be forced to look at themselves. God is sitting these people down. It's like they're in time out. And even if they weren't the head of it, but even for everybody who participated. Again, whatever it is that's coming down the line, it's like everybody's lined up for their shots. So it's like, if you're afraid of injections, then don't give other people injections. This is the lesson that a lot of people will have to learn in this lifetime. What you don't like to yourself, do not give it to others. Do not do it to others. Because see, it's not fun anymore that the rabbit have the gun. Now they are the ones in the corner with their hands up in the air. And it's not fun anymore. Yeah, so a lot of them, they're having major regrets right now. Major regrets. See, a lot of the times people... They don't have the foresight. They, they don't look ahead to say what will happen if this thing falls apart. Because see, when they're in their ego and their pride, they're not thinking about anybody else. They're selfish. As a matter of fact, a lot of these people, for what they did, they did not think that they would be caught. They didn't think that they would have to give an account to anybody. As a matter of fact, in their own naivety and stupidity, they thought that God was not watching them. Because they thought that because you were not among them, you would have no idea. But see, that's the thing. God looks out for you. So he hears and he saw. And for those of you going through this right now, he sees 
everything that the enemy is plotting and strategizing. And this is why you'll hear me say many times that it's good to give God control. You know my heart. You know their heart, his heart, her heart, whoever. If they are not in my life for my highest good, please remove them. As long as you are with me, because I believe that it's better, even if I have to walk alone, than to be in a crowd of people who are sabotaging me, who are lying to me, who are mocking me, who are haters, who are snakes. Because at least when I know that it's me alone or one other person, whomever, I'm good. I'm good. So a lot of these people, they're having regrets because they said things and they can't take them back. They did things that are hurtful and there is no coming back from there. They know they cannot restore that relationship with you. Yes, you can forgive people, you heal and you love them from a distance and it doesn't matter who they are. But there is no going back. Like the song says, I can't go back won't go back to the way it used to be because these people showed themselves they showed their behinds and it's like no so this is why they're forced to take a dose of their own medicine because the truth is you're on top and you're going higher and there's nothing they can do about it so even if they try to set up people against you lay traps and snares want to cause delays in your life, what God has for you, it is for you. And this is what I'm saying. A lot of these people, they thought that they could triumph over God and what he has to say. And they are realizing now that they are not God. They are nothing. And it's like, <laughs> to me, it's like God is just pushing these people in the corner, like back up, back up. And they are shrinking. Peeing themselves in fear. Or they will. Because now they are forced to face the music. The same hole that they dig. Now let's see how that feels. Whatever portion they mixed up. For you, for us to drink. Now let's see them drink it. I'm telling you, this is, this is a lesson that a lot of people, whether they were in it full-time, part-time, are their only bands, bystander, bystanders or onlookers. They're going to get a portion of it. Touch not God's anointed, do his prophets no harm. If you don't have anything good to say, mind your business or shut your mouth. But to be a partaker in evil, to hurt somebody else and you think it's funny, no, it's not okay. It's not okay. And for a lot of you, these people, it was death magic. They wanted us, they wanted you to be dead. And it's now reverse, death magic reverse. Now they're getting a dose of their own medicine. So whether this is physical or literal, if they wanted things to die off in your life, relationships, your job, your business to fail, it's the same thing that's coming back to them now. Now they're going to see how it feels to be left out in the coal, how it feels to be abandoned, rejected, neglected, to be slandered, to have your character assassinated. It's reverse. So it's coming right back. Or it's already there. They're feeling it. Because a lot of people, they may come out looking as if all is well. But you know, it's like walking, but you know your shoes is too tight. So you try to put on that little smile while you're wiggling it. But nobody can tell. But you know that thing is making you go blind. Yes. A lot of people, they're just faking it on the outside, but they, they're going through it. They're going through it.
Yeah, so for a lot of these people, they're ascending or they did. They send death magic to divine counterparts. So you were supposed to come into a connection, a relationship, or you're already in it. Wow, confirmation. You're already in it. People wanted it to either not to come to fruition or your relationship to be blighted for you to have uh, pretty much friction and animosity in your connection, no peace, no love in your home. Now they're having major regrets. And it's like too, when I see this, this card, it's like I'm seeing the silence because a lot of people have been naive and gullible because they went to some of these people thinking that they were their friends, right? So they probably told them about a relationship, Some you like somebody, not realizing that this friend or these people were jealous. And so they went ahead and did their own research. They found out, oh, you're in a divine relationship or, oh, this person coming in is supposed to be your divine counterpart. And right away they started to strategize to how they can not stop this thing or they can stop this thing from coming together or if you're in a relationship how they can separate you come between your connection to break that up these people are having major regrets because see again it's a divine counterpart that means it's god and the bible said not the bible but the marital vow it says whom god puts together let no man put asunder right so when you have relationships that fell apart because you force yourself in those, maybe God did not put you together. So people were easy to come between those to put a wedge to separate you and that partnership. But see, when God's hand is in it, and then you have these little trolls and tyrants and hyenas and pit bulls and chihuahuas, they try to bark at it, to bite at it. To cause distractions and stalemates let me tell you God is tapping some people's behind really good or he's getting ready to they're gonna learn the hard way not to mess with God's chosen people he says he's a jealous God he takes care of his own he protects us and now see justice, it says here, karma, the scale is balanced. You're on top and you're going higher. I'm telling you, they wanted to stop you, block you, but no, God got you. And so this is why it is so important. You know who you talk to, who you tell your secrets to, especially about relationships and connections, because I'm telling you, we have some wicked people, some devious people who, again, they're here and they're, it's just that we're looking at them in the physical and they look like us. So we think we can trust them. But really what is inside of them is an envious, jealous spirit. That is not from God. God is love. And again, it's like if these relationships were to come together, it's a threat to the pit of hell. The devil does not want that. So this is why these places or these people were placed or their place in our lives to tear down. They're doing their master's work. We can't really blame them. We must blame ourselves for being so naive, not being aware of the plans and the strategies of the enemies. Because we let our guards down. And we think that because we're of love and light and divine beings, that everybody is, is that. Maybe it was intended that way, but everybody chose what they want to do. And when people make their choices, then we need to respect them and protect ourselves. And this is why for a lot of you, because I know a lot of divine feminines, they wake up before the masculines and 
guys a lot of <laughs> sometimes the men they're very slow very slow very naive very gullible and it's like you're trying to you could even be telling them look this person is not for you and it's like they run away from you into the arms of the devil or devils like the song Whitney Houston I want to run to you Ooh. yes so it's like they run away from you into the arms of the enemy and they don't realize that boy that bestie that friend that they have is really not their friend they're an enemy and so a lot of these people they will send spiritual warfare through that masculine sometimes feminine too but i think a lot of the time the men they will use because they know it's like there is this bond there right so what they will do they will send the attack it's like again it's energy like a channel through that person to get to you to wait spiritual warfare so for a lot of you this is why even you have to separate from persons who you thought or you think is your divine counterpart because it's like no you're you're not gonna be stubborn and bring me down with that sinking ship i'm not going down with you and them because see you know what's going on in the spiritual realm you know what these people are doing and i'm telling you they're getting a dose of their medicine they're having regrets because they realize that they can't keep a good man or a god woman or god man or good woman down they can't keep you down it's like the more they pour the more you rise to the top and a lot of these people yeah they don't like the new you they don't like the new you this is like transformation rebirth because again it's like whatever they sent at you you were able to transmute that alchemize that and now it's like you come out popping you know it's like this is mind-boggling I'm telling you, this is why a lot of people, they're realizing now that there must be something about you that is out of this world because for all the attacks, I mean, death magic for crying out loud, and you're still here. You're still looking some kind of way where they still don't like the new you because you evolve, you grow from it. For, for all the things that these people do to create death to a counterpart, death to your business, all this networking to get all of this stuff down, they lost a lot of money. And the thing about it is they can't go to these um, witches and warlocks to get a refund because the spell was already done, but it, it wasn't spelling. They can't get any refund. And then when you pay these people to do these dirty work, I don't think you get a receipt, right? There is no customer service. <laughs> so a lot of these people, yeah, they're in major regrets because they're looking now at their bank account and it's dried up. They didn't invest their money wisely because again, they thought that whatever they were invested in, that they were going to get this huge payout. This huge payout. And it didn't work out that way. So a lot of you, yeah, you're leaving it all behind or you left it all behind because justice is at work, karma is at work, the scale is balanced, and now it's like you're free to go on your journey. These people are mad because of the power that you harness. You're different, you stand out. You're magical. So this is why they wanted to take you down because you don't look like them. You don't behave like them. You're not trolling. You're not gossiping. 
you are not scandalous you're not a liar you're high vibrational you know what you're about you know your purpose and because you refuse to fit in your light irritated their darkness and their demons this is why for some of you they decided to work against you so yeah they were getting readings on you i'm telling you you school these people it's a tough lesson that they're gonna have to learn and for a lot of you this could have been a karmic uh path in the sense that you got it right this lifetime you got it right this lifetime where you're not uh engaging in any third party connections you learned this lifetime how to sense the fake and the phonies from the people who are genuine you learn to trust your intuition you learn to give over divine your control maybe for a lot of you you would fight fire with fire but you realize you know what i'm gonna let god fight my battles and this is why i shared in quite a few of the videos where a lot of these people they were even lying that you are doing dark stuff witchy stuff witchcraft what you were doing what we're doing especially if you're doing cards they're making it seem as if you are the evil one the toxic one when they are they're just love pointing the finger and again there were it was easy for them to convince others because you're out here you're doing it so of course people are like oh yeah you must be doing that stuff but then it's like if 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 you are doing this if we were doing this why would we be waiting on justice from god why would why would so many people be saying karma why would so many people be saying vengeance is mine said the lord i will repay confirmation why would you be waiting on god you would take matters in your hands and i'm telling you you may have felt sometimes like you could kick some butt in the physical realm and yet still you control yourself because it's like you fear God too much to stand, to, to run ahead of God and, and do this stuff. I mean, you'll defend yourself if they bring it to you, but you'll let go, you'll let God fight your battles. This is not what you're about. You understand the mission here. You understand your assignment. And I'm telling you, a lot of these people, see, four of cups, they are in a lot of regret here. It's like new message coming in and they, they, it's like they miss an opportunity. They're getting a dose of their own medicine. They're going to have to sit down and look at everything that they have done. They're going to miss out on a blessing here. Wow. For some of these people, it's the message that they're coming because this cup is like an opportunity coming. This is like where it says death magic reverse. You know, and again, it's like they drank three cups here. So it's like having a dose of their own medicine here. And it's... <laughs> You know, and it's like they don't even see this other one coming. They don't even see this other one coming. God is serving them up. They already have three. It's like one more coming in and they're like, I, I can't do this. You know, when people doing a prep, a cleanse or something, and it's like, oh, I have to drink one more of this. It's too bitter. It doesn't smell good. It doesn't taste right. And God is like, here, here. You got to take it. I don't care how long you put your head down. You're going to take it. You're going to take it. Yeah. Ten of swords. Yeah. Defeat. I'm telling you. Because they were sending death magic to divine counterparts. Endings bring new beginnings. This is what they were doing in the background all along. Waging war. And they're having regrets about what they did now. Yeah, three of cups there. For a lot of you, this is your time to celebrate. Because see, when they were celebrating, you were sad. Now this is over justice here. The scale is balanced. Now it's your time to celebrate. 
you are now coming back to life because you're on top and you're going higher. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Look at this death. Death is here. And we saw the death magic reverse. So a lot of you, this is the new you. See the butterfly. It's the transformation. It's the change. It's the rebirth. Oh, my goodness. And this is us, death. Mm, no wonder they don't like the new you. Because see, they buried you not knowing that you're a seed. And now you come back new, fresh, vibrant, stronger. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So you were able to transmute that. Wow. Some of them... With the four of cups here, they know the last one coming. See, it's death. It's like she's facing death. So she know this last one, this person, these people know that the, that's what's coming next. This last cup, like I said, it's it can be literal or it could be in their life in however way. Because again, whatever it is that they were giving you or sending your way, they're going to have to face the music. They're going to be the ones who have to take it now. So let's see how they like it. Let's see how they like it. I'm telling you, look, 10 of pentacles in the reverse. When I said they lost a lot of money, they lost a lot of money. And for a lot of you, a lot of us, these were families too. They're in the reverse. They're the ones having a lot of regrets. They lost a lot of money. I couldn't make it up even if I wanted to. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yep, they lost a lot of money. These people lost a lot of money. Mm. Yep. For a lot of you, it's like you're free now. 2024, that's number eight. Because they wanted you to be blinded. But see, the top is open here. It's like, for some of you, you're, you're finding your way out of this Eight of Swords where they wanted you to self-sabotage, to be trapped, to be bound. And this Nine of Swords where you were up all night, can't sleep, you're stressed, you're having anxiety, fears and nightmares, sending you spiritual warfare to disturb your sleep. They wanted you to be stuck. These are the people that you're leaving behind. You're walking away from what no longer serves you. You're walking away from what no longer serves you. And look, I saw this before too, but this is the page of swords. So a lot of these people, as you're leaving it all behind, they're left to watch and to gossip. Yeah. They're left to watch and to gossip. Because see, for a lot of you, like I said, it's reversed. Now they're going to have to go within with the hermit here to reflect, to see themselves. Yep. Eight of Wands, this is coming in quickly. Five of Cups, they are the ones who are going to be sad and lonely. Again, they're having regrets here. Five of Pentacles out in the cold because a lot of these people, they work very hard. Very hard here with the Eight of Pentacles. Again, they could have even worked hard on your business so that it would fall apart. Yeah, try to create so much illusion with the Seven of Cups here. Because the Ten of Cups... They didn't want you to be happy. They wanted to interfere with your family, your relationship, and the moon. They were doing a lot of things in the dark here. Yeah, it's like the page of pentacles, see, like, with your business. But it's kind of like, yeah, they were messing with your business, whatever it is you were working on. But see, again, justice is here. Oh, karma is here. Karma is here, number 11. You may be seeing 11 or 11, 11. So yeah, you're getting back the stability, this partnership, three of pentacles back in your life. And these people, they will be burdened because they will have to see you crowned. I'm telling you, they're going to be in a lot of three of swords. Heart, I mean, heartache, disappointed regrets of what they have done. 
the nine of wands who wounded yep and four of swords they're gonna be laid to rest because judgment day is here judgment day is here because they mess with an earth angel a king or queen of pentacles this is this is what they did when god says touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm these people didn't have a clue what that meant and now they're gonna see it play out in their life in the biggest way yeah you're leaving it all behind to clarify the queen of swords here yep it's like you're in your power they don't like the new you you're cutting you're speaking the truth clarity on everything like i said they're in regrets you have no more love to give to these people you forgive them but they can't come back no more celebration you pour out any feelings you have it's like okay we're brothers we're sisters we're cousins and what it means nothing because for what they tried to do to you if they had the sword this is what they wanted to do to you but now you have the sword again it's the power that you harness they didn't like it and now this is why they came at you now you're leaving it all behind you have clarity you're emotionally intelligent they can't play with you you know they want to come back to apologize but you can see it smell the nonsense from a mile away see the sun it's abundance for you eight of cups you're walking away from everybody in your past six of cups and the wheel is now turning in your favor i love it i love it for you things are balancing out here with the two of pentacles and you're in your nine of cups too you're happy i love it until next time